Thanks you for rising from your past to be a right to suto. Don't spare the jets. Welcome to the Surfipelago, where the horizon rests on the surfy goo. Leave it behind. Back to your own power. Metal scrap, that's the good stuff. There are things out there waiting for you. That's the good stuff. Lumumunamana says there's an interesting place nearby that no one knows about, but doesn't really want to talk about it right now. Losurate me susute. Says there's no reason to let you in on where it is. Says there's no reason to make threats. Would have told you about it sooner or later. It's not far from here. Beveg bepa man para popak iljapkap rev greja. Hopes the octopod is finished in time to battle the Merkpuff. Says you'll see each other later. Wants to know how much good you think you can actually do in a ruined world. So,
Riding a Goo Glide helps keep you goo-free. This here is the Sinky Dink, home of Gulp, at the very least. On your own two feet? Best way to glide the goo. of the goo. You need to believe how serious this is if you want to have any effect on it. Says there's an interesting place nearby that no one knows about, but doesn't really want to talk about it right now. <laughs> Needs a logical reason to reveal the secret. Says it's hard to keep a secret from someone as smart as you. Might as well tell you where the place is as you'll figure it out eventually. Thinks it's a good day to get out and stay. Wouldn't be surprised if you met again. 
Says there's an interesting place nearby that needs a logical reason to reveal the secret. Won't be fooled that easily. The Lotus Tribe and you will work well together. Balance depends on opposites. It is the beginning of all things, an energy. Understands completely. Happy you met Greenfinger. Glad to have him tending the tree of life. It's in good hands. Says good. Says there's an interesting place nearby that no one knows about, but does. Says there's no reason to let you in on where it is. Says there's no reason to make threats. Would have told you about it sooner or later. It's not far from here. Says the tree of life connects. Hopes to see you. Let's see. The water is so colorful. He's pretty sure he's heard of you before, although the details are maybe a little hazy. He wonders if you have something for him to drink. Says it's both everything you could want and never enough. Says you look like you've got a powerful thirst to do something in this world. Good, bad, not really sure, but it seems like you've been drinking in your destiny and liking the flavor. Wonders if you could take the time to help a man slake his own thirst. You'd be doing him a liquid solid. You're a do-gooder, so you know you want to. Either way, he hopes you find a way to wet your whistle before the world comes to an awful dry end and leaves us all thirsting for more. Says life's like a mystery drink. Sometimes it's amazing, and sometimes it's awful. But either way, you can't stop drinking till you're dead. Sure, but that's nowhere near as quick and easy. Who wants to stop to chew? Says you should toast the end of the world, but you'd better hurry. It's coming soon. Respects how you always try to help, no matter that the world's fate is hard to swallow. Thinks it's funny you wound up with the Jagni. They drink so little, like birds. Guess is someone has to be, but he can't swallow the sight of it. But who cares about them? Says you'd be as bummed out as him if you came for the hot stuff. The glug mocker, Nimhim Bibble, and his favorite, Radium Syrup. That one's even more intoxicating now, aged in truck tankers and all. Without a drink, and radium syrup especially, he can't move, much less think, as the power of his mind is directly proportioned to the quantity of syrup he swigs. That's why he's called Gulp. 
The drink helps him forget the state the world is in, but it only lasts until tomorrow. The world is still doomed, even if the sun goes up. Says that's what gives your internal such a great glow. He wants you to know he has other interests, too. He's the Surf Epelago's self-proclaimed ornithologist, for example. There are other ways than a cold drink to relieve stress, even in these dark times. And, fortunately for you, he can help. Watching Pippi's flap is calming, but better yet are the ones you can look at and touch, like quacks. Squeezing them is a great way to relax. They're better at floating than flapping, so you should be able to net a few without growing yourself a pair of wings. your eyes as wide as you can. The Quack Hollow, it's just lonely. again. Bolted shut. That's not opening on its own. Nothing like a story with an unexpected ending.
What a blow! for the accomplished cutter.
Locked but good. Lockety locked. You need to line up the switches so they match. Just a few moves left. Make them count. Good. That's enough electric current to initiate the actuators and activate the framework. The story will go on as long as there is someone there to listen. Vroom, vroom. Gulp says he'll bibble anything once, as long as it's drink alicious, even rocket fuel. He once mixed up some tankers and drank that. It was a real lift off. That leads him to the bottom of that particular bottle, radium syrup. If only he could find a tanker truck to empty. He's not in a state to go looking, so he's counting on you to help. Go find him a tanker truck and bring back some of that precious radium syrup, please. Thinks you're not the only one who... What were we talking about again?
Don't forget the past. Learn from it. Believes the rot at the trunk of the tree of life has changed everything, even style. Most just dress in whatever rags they can find. Their pal Juju, though, makes clothes that'd make anyone look fabulous. Says there's no way you can miss him if you see him. Thinks that art like Juju's is even more vital when the world is winding down. You really could use some of that yourself. No reason to stalk the earth in ugly duds. Says you would be abso fabulous. Did you hear thunder? Shopperias like that used to have tons of things for sale, but most of it has gone missing over time. Looking better than ever. This gutway has centuries of old waste. for those skulls. So eager to die.
You can't wait to get out, can you? Stay away from that fire hazard. You want to wash yourself off for a month. Batter them down. You're hurt bad. Nice. You have a good eye for that stuff. Day is getting on. How far underground do you think you are?
Flex those smart muscles and open the hatch. Just a few moves left. Make them count. That should be enough glow juice for two. Two hands filled with doom. What an improvement! like the wind. Easy for things to hide down here. Get on up. It's in your grasp.
Let's see. Gulp says he wants to take you with him on a super funny happy slide. Sharing is caring, and one drink for two is just right. Gulp says seeing your face is like seeing his own reflection at the bottom of a glass. It never gets old. He's been looking forward to a rendezvous, and it's on you to make it happen. There's even a chance the syrup is more intoxicating now from being aged in a radiated tanker. I meet this very He's sure there are even more tanker trucks with radium syrup out there waiting to be emptied. Blesses your heart for doing your part. Cheers when you're here. Come toward the light. Good on you. Resist. Resist? That's just a hesitation. Nothing more. Keep telling yourself that. <gasps> just give me this one thing. Gulp says drinking shouldn't keep you from thinking. He wonders what's on your mind. says they are looking forward to seeing more of you. Better go find that monster if you don't want everything to die. Hopes to see you again soon. Gulp says drinking shouldn't keep you from thinking. He wonders what's on your mind. Gulp says he's still waiting for that second round. Gulp says drinking shouldn't keep you from thinking. He wonders what's on your mind. Says you should take it easy. Gulp thanks you. Says a drink or two won't do any harm. He refuses to drink alone. You're his friend now. Gulp says he just can't get enough of that crunky syrup. It's so refreshing. Don't you agree? He really appreciated that you shared a drink with him. You took a risk and deserve a reward. So he intends to keep the promise he gave you when you first met. He's got a few things, you see, that no one else has. Claims to understand the alchemy of drinks. Lots to sample and savor. It's hard to understand the guzzle, but it's something about flip-flop the flip-flops and not getting sourced.
sold it. Seemed fair. This might be the end of everything as we know it. That's enough quacks to sustain the Googlide flipper with infinite ammunition. Goop says he was there when the Porky Puff took out of date's leg, so this world eater has made it personal. After that, out of date started using his head instead of his legs and came up with the plan on how to best make a stand against the world eaters and it wasn't by foot. Oh, really? That's how he got tasked with rebuilding the Googlide. He seems happy to talk. Jaida. Says daytime is the right time to get things done. Grateful you're on the same side. Team fixing the world. Wouldn't be surprised if you met again. He seems happy to talk. You need to help Goop defeat the Porky Puff before it destroys the southeast route. Happy you're no longer so shy. Good to have you working to help out. Wouldn't be surprised if he seems happy to talk. There's no better way for the waves. Dismounted. Bangarang. Choke up that grip. Someone always thinks they can beat you.
the Domp outpost, shined up by the Myriad tribe. You and the Myriad tribe share... All things end. Yeah, Miss Fasulala. Sometimes your mind creates an illusion where it's possible to go back in time to relive a moment in your life. things in our past we wish hadn't happened, and can come to remember seeing and doing things that never happened. However, there's no doubt that what you remember makes your future different. Choose the automaton functionality you want to recall. I was wondering when you'd recall how to spring the automaton air gliders. Let's see. Life's a beach, even though it's hard to see it that way. There's the Sovereign who runs this outpost. He didn't expect his outpost to be invaded, but now that you're working with their rival, he can see why. He would have preferred if you could have solved this without violence. At least a peaceful solution has a chance, while a violent one never has. It's their last line of defense. Once their guardian falls, they'll surrender.
outpost belongs to your tribe now. He says you made them weaker, but they won't give up. Your Sifu thanks you. Your tribe is growing stronger. A stylish cover for your brains. He says you did a great job capturing the rival's second outpost. You've earned the privilege of wearing the tribe's colors. Thinks your foes will flee before you can reach them. What's the saying? Red sky at night? No, that's not right. Talks about how it didn't used to be so dark at night. The end of the world means the end of light, too. Without light to guide the way, they keep getting lost out on the goo. Could you restart the Lumen Tower so they can find their way at night again? Claims it's out on the coast, so they can see it from the goo, of course. Says to head toward the goo and look up at the sky. Can't miss it. Once you find the Lumen Tower, climb inside and get the light started back up. Easy, right? Can't wait until they can glide the goo by night again. Figures that when lives are at stake, they are ready to share some green. Gripes about how everyone looks like they crawled from the underworld these days. Wishes they knew where their friend Trim is right now. There's no better fur dresser in the world. He set up shop at Spurf Top. Complains Spurf Top is a little too far, even though this woolly coat that requires furious daily care is in dire need of a trim. As you can see, if you see him, be sure to ask him to give you a makeover. Not that you need it, but you do need it. Thinks you won't regret it.
Nice. Some bark wood scrap for you. Pick your direction, Estiny. Feeling buff. Another chug tunnel. Watch out for oncoming chug chugs. Hey, 
just some e-waste. Strange not having the sky above. At least you got something for your trouble. Never have too much scrap, plastic or otherwise. some e-waste worthwhile. Pokemon. Salt feels crusty on your skin. Looks like it'll work.
The Mitomop outpost. The Myriad tribe meditated here long ago. Let's see. says they've been waiting for you. They're ready to bring death and destruction to the outpost. He says you'd better be. Says scouts spotted a moth nest close to the outpost. If you destroy that, the moths should infest the place looking for a new home. Figures the moths will drive everyone in the outpost nuts. That's when you dive in. That's the moth nest over there. Make sure you know how to get back. Just get to it and destroy it. heads. No more moth's nest. There go the moths toward the outpost. They're good and mad. The outpost belongs to your tribe now.
He says you made them weaker, but they won't give up. Your Sifu thanks you. Your tribe is growing stronger. Thinks you did a great job capturing the rival's third outpost and believes the rival is weak enough to engage them at their fort. Says they won't stand a chance against you. The sound of the surf is never far away. That's hard to come by. Claims to have strange things. Consents you want to practice your skills at bartering. 